Today we're going to talk about the first bodybuilder in the history of the sport to ever achieve a perfect score. This bodybuilder was none other than the legendary Mike Menser. In 1978, Mike Menser competed in the IFBB Mr. Universe competition held in Acapulco, Mexico. The lineup was stacked with notable competitors like Bill Grant, Tom Platts, and Roy Callender. Achieving a perfect score in bodybuilding at that time meant scoring 300 points, and Mike Menser was the first to do so in 1978. By definition, Menser's physique was considered the epitome of perfection. He was the first perfect bodybuilder, with every metric aligned to achieve this score. Prior greats like Arnold Schwarzenegger had never accomplished this. This milestone is significant in the history of bodybuilding, representing what was considered the perfect physique during the late 70s and early 80s. Interestingly, Menser also competed in the 1979 Mr. Olympia, winning the heavyweight division. Frank Zane, who won the lightweight division, ultimately took the overall title. The decision was controversial, as some believed Menser deserved the overall win, reflecting the intense competition between him and Zane. Despite achieving another perfect score of 300 in 1979, Menser was beaten by Zane, sparking debate among fans and critics. This was partly because Zane was the returning champion, which some argue gave him an edge. Mensa became increasingly disillusioned with the IFBB, particularly after the 1980 Mr. Olympia, which is remembered as one of the most controversial in the sport's history. Menser, tying for fourth place with Boyer Co., retired at the age of 29 due to his belief that the competition was rigged. Underappreciated for his achievements, Mike Menser was not only the first bodybuilder to score perfectly, but also replicated his impeccable physique at the Mr. Olympia. His early retirement at 29, potentially before reaching his prime, meant the sport lost years of competitive excellence from him. His career was brief, having turned pro only around the time of his perfect score at Mr. Universe, spanning just about two years in the IFBB. Many believe that had Menser continued competing, he might have won the Mr. Olympia in the early 80s, considering the less impressive victories in those years. His influence extends beyond his competition achievements, including his renowned posing skills, particularly the crucifix pose, his vacuum displays, and his heavy-duty training methods. This video aims to shed light on Mike Menser's legacy and the potential he had to be one of the greatest in the sport. Let us know in the comments section below what you think about Mike Menser's legacy as a bodybuilder. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up.